Me and her are not the same. Me and the girl behind the glass. She may look and move and sound like me. Both our hair is the color brass. But alas, we are different. I believe that I am kind and gentle, and she is anything but. She is cruel and murmurs hurtful remarks. I want to be in the light, but she only encourages the dark. I do try to impress her by changing my appearance. Still, she does her best to diminish my perseverance. Ridicule and antagonizing is her favorite festivity. She criticizes my body, pointing out my lack of symmetry. She says, you're too tall, too wide, too thin. And some days, well, I give in. I wish I could fight her hurtful words. But I am not so strong, so with shrugged shoulders, into the world I surge. I spend my time planning, as I like to say. Really, I'm just worried for the future. So, well, I search my worries away. I question and wonder if I will always be alone, especially when I am grown. But I suppose these questions can be saved for another day. When I feel good, I create. It doesn't matter what it is. Passion makes my soul dance. It pumps from my heart and moves outwards like blood through my veins and into my hands. Some days, the girl behind the glass really gets to me. Some days, it's really hard. She picks at existing wounds. Just a little scratch she makes so large. It tears at the seams, and the loose stitching that I sewed so tightly has become undone. The world is a compact vastness, and I am but one tadpole in this overflowing pond. The idea that I am insignificant is one that I have grown fond. And I know that when the next sun rises, it is not because of me that it has dawned. At that, I still dream of flying. Of someday being free. Of what? I don't know. But this childhood seems like an eternity, so I envy the birds that perch on my window seal. Quite frankly, I've spent so much time inside, I've forgotten completely that the outdoors is even real. So I'll lace up my shoes. And then I will search for a sturdy winter coat. Then, I'm off to embark on a journey. The front yard is the perfect place to go. Let's, let's skip to the adventure <laughs> on these stepping stones. Find a quiet corner. A nice, simple place to be alone. A book 
can be the best embrace. One that no human touch can replace. Here I read and forget myself, nestled into this crevice, and we have only reached the preface. Let's continue the journey to the outmost corners of the yard. The sky is so open, maybe I should be open too. Just this once, I will let down my guard. I am an adventurer and go where no one has gone before. I climb mountains and trees and see the world from great heights. Now the journey is over and I must go back inside. I return to the girl behind the glass and I tell her I am no longer afraid. I apologize to her and she apologizes back. Amends that has long been delayed. Me and the girl behind the glass. It's all gonna be okay.